So we're going to go on to our last topic, talk about some soccer, big weekend in the British Premier League. Michael and I were at our local English pub yesterday watching Chelsea versus Arsenal. Chelsea is still top of the league, we're top of the uh, league. Uh, so uh, <laughs> uh, one of my favorite players, Chelsea's players, Eden Hazard, a uh, Belgian player, excellent, talented, can score, can pass, uh, just a great player all around. Thankfully, he signed a five-year contract extension yeah. with Chelsea. Young, There's a lot of rumors. Yeah, of, yeah he's very young. A lot of yeah. rumors have been leaving to go to yeah. Paris, maybe. I don't want to see that happen. Yeah, or something. Uh, player of the year. Yeah. It's not the Ballon d'Or, which is the, the, the big one, the gold yeah. one that, you know, Cristiano and Messi win every year. But this is still, player of the year, still a great award. Definitely the best player, I think, in the British Premier League in terms of consistency. We have a lot of good scorers this year. Of course, yeah. Alexis Sanchez had a great year scoring. Uh, Diego Costa's had Personally, a good year. Personally, my pick. Yeah, you know, Arsenal, Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez. But that's just me. Um, uh, Sergio Aguero, yeah. also an excellent year with scoring. But I think all-around talent, the guy who is the most valuable player, yeah. which actually that's kind of cool that he won because I think he makes the team better, not just because yeah. he scores the most points. Not, no, the, not the points champion. I, I agree with the you. Golden boot. We were talking a little bit about this before the show, and he's an amazing talent and mm -hmm. well-deserved. I, you know, hats off to him. My only issue is playing for a team like Chelsea and Jose Mourinho's, his tactics. Mm -hmm. You know, he's known for playing boring football. Especially you know, that's just what he does. yesterday. He slows down, yeah, he parks yesterday. the bus. Oh, yesterday was one of the boringest games. Yeah, I'm a Chelsea fan. I was <laughs> bored. I'm sitting there like, oh, But it's, it's a little frustrating when you have someone as talented as, as Hazard, and you can't really unleash him mm -hmm. because you play so conservatively. Mm -hmm. You know, so like maybe the start of the season they were hot, they were doing what they had to do just to get in the position to where they're at right now, but now that they're there, all he wants to do is hold it. And I get that, it works, but when you have these talents, just imagine having a player like Hazard and just like I said, just letting him go, letting him right. do his thing. You know, just imagine like how many more goals, how mm -hmm. much more he could do. It's just a shame. It's tough. Hey, I want to ask you your opinion on just because I know you, you know, you study uh, NFL, uh, you know, a lot of talk about head injuries. It was a very violent hit yesterday. I don't, it wasn't intentional, but the goalie, uh, collided with uh, Oscar, uh, who's, who's one of our, uh, you know, Chelsea's really good players. And it was a really bad head injury. He fell down. He was out for a while. You could see he was out. Like, he was physically out for a while. They had to pick him up. They brought him back to the sidelines and then brought him back on. NFL is very strict about that now. When you get hit like that, that hard in the head, you have to come off. Mm -hmm. Like the Chelsea player did, but typically you don't always go back in because they're so risky. I'm talking about, I'm kind of going on a tangent here, but with boxing, I always say UFC is safer than boxing because with boxing, guys get knocked down. They have the opportunity to come back up again. Whereas UFC, if you get knocked down like that, you're, they, they, call the, they call the fight. Uh, do you think... Um, Soccer needs to work on their, their head injury uh, cases? Well, I know they have found some cases of CTE in soccer players, but the thing is, you know, we're in a different culture here in the United States mm -hmm. where we do have a lot of things governed by legal battles and those kind of issues. And I don't think that necessarily plays on the same level as it does with international. And since soccer has such a big international pool and following, and we have all of these different countries together, mm -hmm. I don't think that they're probably going to move in the direction that the NFL has moved in.